Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Harvard Minds and in today's video we'll be discussing the stats and GPA, SATs and ACT scores you need to get into Harvard University. Before starting guys, if you haven't subscribed the channel guys, go ahead and punch the subscribe button. Guys, it's it's like just do like this and hit it. Like there's nothing much you have to do, just click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that whenever I post something you guys can get the notification so guys before uh, like without any delay let's get started so guys on your screens you can see that the average GPA of the students who got into Harvard University was 3.94 now having said that there is no hard and fast rule that you need to have a perfect GPA, you need to have perfect stats, or you have to you have to be you have to be on top of your class, or you need to be or uh, you have to win you have to win some kind of Olympiad or national or you should have any kind of national achievement. These are just myths. You don't need to be a, a valedictorian to go into Harvard University. Neither you need to have a GPA of of 4.5, 4.4, or a 4.2. What now you can see on your screen that you need just 3.94 out of 4 to get into Harvard University. Now this is an average GPA. Guys this is an average GPA. Now you have to resonate along with me you know. You have to just give your all attention and just think for a second that if 3.94 is an average GPA then if then you have a strong chance of getting into Harvard if you have a GPA of like 3.8 or 3.85. For me, if you ask my personal opinion, I think that if you have a GPA of like somewhere like 3.8 or and if you have stats, uh, if you have an SAT of uh, somewhere around about 1480 and if you and if you have an ACT of uh, somewhere around 32 to 33, I feel or like 31, I feel like you have a chance of getting into Harvard University. This is my opinion and I have also seen people with low stats, like lower than the average stats who got into Harvard University. So guys, you have a chance of getting into Harvard University even if you don't have perfect scores. Then comes that many people are saying that SAT and ACTs are optional. And there is a question in many people's mind that yes, if, if they are optional, then how can then like are they really optional or like will our will we be rejected if we don't take SAT or ACT guys if a university is saying not only Harvard University any university in the world or like any Ivy League if they are saying that SAT and ACT are optional then they mean it if they are saying a particular requirement is optional then guys it is optional then you need not to worry about about any kind of standardized test like I got this information directly from an admission officer and that admission officer told me that if whatever the university is saying on their website it is true and if they are saying that SAT and ACT are optional then they are optional so guys having said that if you have mediocre mediocre stats and lower than the average stats you still have a chance of getting into Harvard University and uh, honestly in my opinion it all depends like stats are very important stats play an important role of getting your foot into the door but they don't play and they don't play an altogether overall they don't have an overall impact on your application like for an application they do and they do a kind of holistic review so in holistic review i've already explained that they see everything they will also be they will also be seeing the extracurricular activities now guys if you haven't i've already made a video on extracurricular activities and if you haven't watched that video i'll put the link into description guys i have shared this the extracurricular activities of the recent year class of this year's class the activities they did to get into harvard university guys next comes you can see on your screens that now you can see on your screens that 66% of students reported attending a secondary school that ranked members of their school. Of that number, 73 were ranked in the top 2% of their class. 59% of the students had at least one parent attend Harvard and whose schools ranked reported being in top 2% of their class. So guys, again, I've already said that you need not to be a valedictorian to get into Harvard University. You can be in top 2% of your class. And this is like they are saying that you can be 
in top 2% of your class but even if you're in like top 3% of your class or to top 4% of your class and you have some stellar extracurricular activities like you were president of any club or you did you were like chief of editor you were your chief in editing in magazine or like uh, in schools magazine or schools newspaper or if you have like done anything which is exceptional and it can it can set you apart from all your peers like it can it can help you to rise and shine among all the applicants guys i have already said that you can get into harvard university anyone who's watching this video can get into harvard university and because the university wants you to be part of the university like they want you to be in harvard but they're only looking that what you have that can say them that that can that can show you that you can get into Harvard. I mean, what you have, which other students don't have and how you can be a perfect asset for the university. They need you and you can get into Harvard. You can get into Harvard, but it's only what you show them and how you'll be able to show them. It's all through your application, guys. So best of luck with the application process. And thank you so much for standing by and watching the video. And again, I'll be saying if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and punch the subscribe button and see you till the next video. And bye bye.